S.N. Matruka, M.D., thoracic surgeon, Desert Regional and Eisenhower Medical Centers, specializing in mitral valve disease, atrial fibrillation, and coronary heart disease. I decided to take a year off between college and medical school and um, uh, wanted to travel for the year but didn't have enough money. And uh, So I decided to work for half the year and earn enough money to be able to travel for the other half and just uh, fortuitously got a job in a cardiac surgery research lab at the University of Pennsylvania, where I had um, graduated as an undergrad, and um, was involved in um, uh, performing uh, open-heart surgery in animal models, and um, quickly realized that I had a knack for it. I think cardiac surgeons utilize and embrace a lot of new technology as it comes to market, But at the same time, cardiac surgeons are fairly conservative, so they may analyze and um, experiment with some of the new technologies, but very few of them are actually implemented. A couple of the new fields in cardiac surgery that we are looking at at Eisenhower, uh, one is a robotic surgery. Um, And there are a few large centers in the United States that are routinely doing robotic, either mitral valve repairs or coronary work, and and, uh, we've done some of it here. Um, The other big area that we are looking into at Eisenhower is um, the treatment of patients with advanced heart failure. Uh, Patients are staying alive longer with debilitating heart failure symptoms. And now there are a variety of therapies um, such as ambulatory ventricular assist devices, uh, gene therapy, um, transmural laser therapy, all of those uh, modalities may be used to help patients with heart failure in the future.